All right, guys, so this new jailbreak update is quite of a doozy because it's actually getting me a little bit disappointed. Like, I saw some comments saying, Brian, this update is disappointing because of this and blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, it's pretty okay. Like, we got this new boxer vehicle plus the blade and stuff. So it's like, you know, what could you complain about? But there's actually some stuff uh, that is quite concerning. So you might be asking, what is the disappointing part about this update? And that is the duffel bag game pass. So the duffel bag game pass now needs some tiers. They basically added those tiers for you to, you know, basically have easier access to the game pass. Like there's tier one, which gives you a little bit more and tier two and so on up to tier four, which is maximum. And basically, they made it so every single robbery gives you times two cash. But I still don't understand because um, the power plant doesn't give you times two cash and the train doesn't do that either. Um, maybe because the train already gives you 2,000, maybe that's why, but the power plant is supposed to give you a maximum of like, you know, 5,000 or something, uh, 6,000 right off the start. So that's where I get a little bit confused of, but then some robberies give you less and some robberies give you more and it's all unbalanced and it's quite disappointing. So I'll explain all that in this update. So yeah. So let's start off with Twitter. So Asimo tweeted this. Uh, he says, might have to balance the cash on these robberies. Maybe a patch this week. I think we increased too much. Cargo plane shouldn't be worth two jewelry stores, Emio. And basically, I'm just like, what? I was like so shocked because like, this is really weird after I explained to this because the jewelry store actually got kind of like nerfed. It doesn't give you as much money as before, but some robberies gave you more. And I'm just like, bro, we just want the whole jewelry store back. And like, I'm not the only person who's kind of disappointed with this update. Like my username of this has complained about this update too, uh, for a different reason. But this is another reason where I saw a lot of people complain as well. Um, but I'll get to all the robberies right now. So first of all, we're gonna go rob the museum right over here. So let me go place the dynamite and oh, oh you just carry me over. All right, we're gonna begin on this one because this the museum has been buffed um, a little bit, not that much. But you know, let's just go ahead and let me just show you. As you can see, I'm gonna grab this giant donut and boom, as you can see on the very side, there's up to 10 kg, which before I believe was eight. So, as you can see, a little bit bigger, but it's going to be a pretty big change. So, anyway, let me go ahead and just grab the rest because, you know, I want to get the full cash to show you the increase in the buff. So, let me go in here, grab the bone, and I just need two more. I just need two more. All right, there we go. 91 more. Please don't take that. I want it. I want it. Ah, come on. All right, okay. I'll take this one. Fine. And now we're going to go ahead and turn this in, and I'm going to show you the, the thing. Okay, the boom. 9,600 9, cash. As you can see, a huge increase. Uh, I got 8,000 for the museum, and basically before, I think it was like 7,000 something, um, but it's definitely a big increase because definitely, yeah, there's a little buff here, um, but that's just pretty cool because that got increased, um, but let me just show you everything else because the museum is kind of like a good thing. Uh, yes, you get more money, but other stores you get less, so yeah, let me just show you those. So now I'm going to show you the cargo ship, and obviously, you know, Asimo did say, or not Asimo, like Batty, I don't know if Asimo or Asimo tweeted this, but they tweeted saying that all robbery is going to be two times the money, but obviously it doesn't seem that, because I'm going to rob the cargo ship here and just prove it to you that they don't actually do that. So we are approaching the turning point, there we go, let me just toss that right in and boom the same amount of money didn't change at all just didn't even change and we're gonna try this one more time you know like maybe we can rob it again it'll give more but like yeah it, it doesn't really do that you know so let's go ahead uh come on come on come on yep just grab that uh, yeah i'm out i'm out i'm out come on i'm out i'm sorry i'm sorry i just want to get some of your precious cargo come on come on thank you and here we go turn it in boom we, we even got even less. Great. <laughs> and for the jewelry store, it's even more disappointing. You actually get less than you're supposed to have. So, yeah, we're going to go in here and we're going to get it. And boom, guess what? Look, look, 4,000. You only get 4,000. Of course, yes, I should have expected this because Batimo did tweet you're supposed to get less. But, bro, that's kind of unbalanced, you know? Like, I expect to get 5,000 cash and my VIP game was to get 6,000. Now I'm only getting 4,000? What? Like... I felt like I got downgraded, you know, and I, I think that's what most of the majority of jailbreak players think. They're like, oh, I have this game pass, now I'm getting downgraded. But, 
like there are some robberies that I'll show you in a bit that are actually upgraded like they have more money value so yes this store may have been like nerfed and some got buffed and I, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and rob those and show you you don't you don't get the 6,000 like you used to you're gonna get a lot less all right let's go turn it in and boom 4,800 cash. Wait, I just lost $1,200. I'm supposed to get 6,000. Before it was 6,000, now it's 4,800. That's a huge difference. Like, okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and rob the cargo plane because this actually got an insane buff. The one I seen was talking about, you get double the money. I'll show you it, um, and let's do that right now. Let's do it. So we're midway, just inspecting this crate. Let me just show you right after I inspect this how much money we'll get. Let's go inspect, and done. As you can see, 16 kg. That looks like a lot, right? But wait until I turn it in. It's uh quite a lot. So let's go ahead and turn this in. And uh yeah, the you know like the train. As you can see, the passenger train on the side. Also the cargo train. They also didn't. They didn't change those at all, um, but this one they changed. So they changed some stores, but they didn't change others, which gets me confused. Like, what just happened? Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and just spawn in the, this. Yeah, let's go ahead and spawn, and let's go ahead and finish it. You know, let's go in style. Let's use my rocket fuel. Come on. All right, here we are. We're arriving, and 9,600 cash. That is a huge increase. Before, you only got... 5,000 I think like it was half of the jewelry store so yeah that's a huge increase and in buff which is pretty cool but like is these buffs worth it like also the bank I'll show you the clip it, it gives you more 5,500 for like yeah it just gives you more for the bank as well uh, but are these buffs and uh, you know nerfs worth it or do you just want everything to be back to normal tell me what you guys think below because like I don't know which one's better. Is this one better or, or the other one's better? Who, who really knows? So lastly, I'm going to review the wiki just to show you everything. As you can see, the bank can give you up to 9,000 cash. That's a huge increase because before, I believe, it was like 6,000 or something. I don't know before. I don't, I don't memorize the stuff. But yeah, as you can see, a big increase. It wasn't 9,000 before. But now you can get up to 9,000 depending on which bank floor you get. For the museum, you can get up to 9,600 as you saw in my video. For the passenger train, that sort of just stayed the same. Power plant stayed the same. And cargo plane got a huge increase, $14,400. And the cargo ship also stayed the same. And let me just show you the jewelry store. Wait, where is it? Hold up. And obviously, as you can see, the jewelry store got nerfed. It's 4,800 now instead of 6,000. So yeah, this pretty much means that everything is unbalanced in Jailbreak. So obviously, you know, the the bank gives 5500 but the jewelry store rewards less. And this will basically mean that people are going to start robbing stores that reward more, like the cargo plane and the uh, the cargo ship. No, the cargo ship doesn't reward that much. Uh, the museum, those rewards $9,000 plus. Dollars. So people are going to rob those stores because they, they reward more. And people are going to start robbing the jewelry store because they don't give that much, you know? So that's going to cause some problems here. That's my view on this. Tell me what you guys think below. Um, that's just basically my take on it. Um, it's not really good. I don't like this at all. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And that Brian is now signing out. Bye!